Hi guys, welcome to the Science Research Channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about the importance of research proposal. Why we need research proposal? If you think you can write your dissertation or thesis without having a research proposal, then the question is why we write research proposal? Before to get to the why of research proposal, I would like to share my personal experience. When I started my PhD, my supervisor told me that you have six months to prepare your research proposal and you are going to present this in a seminar uh, the faculty will arrange for you when i presented my seminar after six months and i answered the question from the floor and when i met people outside the tutorial on that day i have realized how important is the research proposal and how to make a good research proposal for approval I would expect you already know the definition of research proposal and the proper procedure how to write a research proposal. And finally, uh, I will assume you know the structure of research proposal. Okay, uh, but here uh, I will talk very briefly about these headings because our main goal is to show you why we need research proposal. So first, we have definition of research proposal. A uh, research proposal is a short, concise summary. Uh, that reflects your intention, motivation, and interest about the research you will do. Okay, and how to write it? So you need a good way to make start of the research proposal. And this method is called uh, first start with the literature review. Okay, so you need a lot of papers uh, in your interest area. And while reading, uh, eventually you will end up with uh, some ideas these ideas called gaps in the research so you, now uh, after reading you have gaps research gaps you can formulate your hypothesis research questions from those gaps so uh, when you have your ideas on the table in the form of hypothesis research questions so then you can make your uh, introduction and uh, methodology and other parts very easily okay so and third we have uh, the structure of research proposal so then so after the literature review suppose you want to write a research proposal you finish the literature review now you are ready to write the whole document so you need to understand the overall structure of research proposal so here i have presented uh, the structure of a typical proposal so first you need title and probably you will know uh, how to write uh, title for research proposal so title must be uh, concise and short okay but also be uh, descriptive and then we have introduction section so in introduction section you need to introduce your research area uh, and also you need to put some background information and highlight the importance of the research area okay and then we have literature review so in literature review you need to collect some papers around the research area and you also need to read those papers so when you start reading those papers you will find some research gaps and you can use those research gaps to formulate your research problem uh, or questions or hypothesis and then you need the materials and methods to study uh, the research problem in your proposal okay and then we we have objectives so this is very important to uh, write in your research proposal why your research proposal is important what is the significance of your research proposal and goals and finally you need to make a list of the citations you have used in the literature review in the form of references so it is very important to uh, cite uh, each and every author you included in the literature review okay so this is all about the structure of research proposal so why people write research proposal uh, there could be many reasons but most of the time and in my experience uh, these are the main reasons so we have two groups uh, rationales uh, the reason behind the research proposal and the logic of the proposal and rationales uh, the first reason we must write a research proposal uh, as we need a plan or model to work a little bit more quickly and also you can focus your thinkings 
and can manage the time you will complete the project. The second reason we write a research proposal is for the approval for your dissertation and thesis. So as I mentioned earlier, when I started PhD, I have presented the project. So when you present your research proposal, the good thing is you will receive a suggestion from your supervisor committee and other members uh, for the improvement of your research project. And also, the audience will give you feedback uh, and this way you will start interaction and communication with people. I do remember a person asked me about uh, uh, what are the big players in your research area. So a thorough literature review is very important as the people may ask you about it. And another reason people write research proposals for the funding to support uh, your project and pay you for the research project you are doing. Now, now the logic of research proposal. Your research proposal must be unique. That means other people have not worked on it before. People have not worked to the death. Also, your ideas must be justified, realistic and doable. And second, why your research proposal is important and significant? It is obvious that you are interested in your research area, but how you will convince other people, including supervisors, to take interest in your research proposal? Also, it must be important and repeatable. Remember, you will get distinction because your project is unique and necessary. I wish this short presentation about why we write research proposal could be helpful for you. See you in next video.